So I've got a request tonight, could you do a please do a quick video about Rob Kardashian? I didn't, know, I didn't actually know the Kardashians had a brother. I'm not even sure why these people are famous, but the name pops up a lot. So there is a Kardashian brother named Rob. He's overweight. He's only 27. Can you please share your tips and hints for this overweight celebrity? Yet another overweight celebrity. <laughs> what? Isn't it amazing what people are like, oh, Harley, I don't know. I can't afford to eat healthy, and that's why I'm overweight. But what about all the overweight celebrities who are fucking cashed up? Cashed up. So I did a little bit of homework on this Rob guy. I Googled up some Google images. My opinion, I don't even know the guy. Never even met him. Never even knew he existed till today. I'm only doing a video about him because he's a celebrity. It might generate more hits to my channel. But it gives people an insight. My advice is going to be the same for this guy as it is for the next person who's got some weight to lose. So I looked up this... Rob guy, he's doing the same shit everyone or all the other overweight people are doing. Just because you're fat doesn't make you a bad person. But he's, I looked on his Twitter and he's on YouTube and he's got pictures of like some greens with a little bit of fucking chicken or an omelette. And going, yeah, I'm eating clean and lean. No, dude, you're eating fucking shit that's going to make you obese and make your fucking insulin go up. <laughs> Why are you eating like a NFL linebacker if you want to get lean? Why are you spiking the fuck out of insulin if you want to get smaller? Insulin makes you bigger. That's why bodybuilders inject insulin. Makes you fucking grow. It's an anabolic steroid. <laughs> makes you bigger. So if you're increasing your insulin by eating high-protein diets like you're doing, like the Atkins-style paleo diet, you're going to get bigger versus slimmer. It's like trying to clean a glass window with a fucking brick. You're going to scratch shit up. You ain't going to polish it, man. So if you want to get leaner, eat like us. Here's a little video of myself and my girlfriend freely eating. Carbohydrates. This is how we eat every fucking meal. We are fucking feasting. So while you and your overweight celebrity friends are sitting there eating like a little bit of omelette and a little bit of chicken and a little bit of greens and whatever and popping some phenamine pills and going, yep, I'm going to go work out today. I'm all charged up. And you're fucking your metabolism up while you're doing that. We're stuffing our faces, doing a bit of sport, keeping active, feeling good, not using the stimulants. Life's pretty sweet. And we're always going to be this lean. I'm 37 years old. Freely's 20. Uh, no, Freely's 34. So, you know what I mean? Like, but she looks like she's a fucking teenager. You know what I mean? I'm fitter and leaner than I was when I was 17. And I don't do drugs. I'm not using the coffee. I don't even drink coffee or tea. So this is what silly celebs do. They get in these weight loss pills and these Atkins, Fatkins diet and they want these quick, quick results. And you might lose a little bit of weight, but you're going to fuck up your metabolism. You're going to burn your adrenals and your body's going to shut you the fuck down and you're going to rebound. And then you go, shit, now I'm really motivated. I'm going to do another crash diet. I'm going to do another crash training course. I'm going to pay some money-hungry fucking celebrity personal trainer to whip my ass. And these... Personal trainers for celebrities, they're like, these fucking dumb fucks. I'm on steroids, I've got a bit of a balance here, but they wouldn't have a fucking clue what's going on. I'm just going to take their money because they've got too much to know what to do with. And that's the cycle that goes on and on and on. So my tip to this Rob guy, I'll give you my f honest tips. I like this guy, he's got, always wearing good shoes. All the photos, he always seems to wear some nice running shoes, so that's fantastic. He always seems to have a water bottle in his hand, which is another thing that's fantastic. So he's got two things right. He's drinking his water, and he's wearing running shoes all the time. My other tip would be get a bicycle. Get a bicycle and maybe become a bike messenger in New York City or San Fran or Portland or wherever. And just, just cruise around. You don't have to do any high heart rate stuff. Just cruise around. Get some base miles in your legs for a few months in a year. And then pick it up over time. Cycling's going to be your best thing. Because as you're this heavy, you ain't going to be able to do much running. Running is poor when it comes to weight loss. Cycling is the best. I'm a pretty fast runner myself. But I'll admit that it's taken me years and years and years to be able to have the, the fitness, the running fitness. And I, I don't even, I'm not even close to my running fitness yet. This, that'll take me another five years of training before I can train the level I can train on the bike. So cycling is the best sport for weight loss. It helps your metabolism. And you need to put the carbohydrates in because that will give you the motivation to train and so your red blood cells can actually feed themselves and, and multiply. Then you've got more energy and your mitochondrial efficiency goes up. So every time you skip carbohydrates, your mitochondrial efficiency goes down and your dependence on stimulants goes up. So you're going to fuck off the stimulants, bring back the carbs in, 
I'm not talking greasy fucking hamburgers. I'm talking vegan foods, high-carb rice, fruits, veggies, corn, sugar, things like that. High-carb, low-fat. The fat sheets, the fat you fucking wear, Rob. So if you want to get leaner, fuck off the fats. Animal protein, it's just going to give you heart disease. You already had a kidney scare. What the fuck are you doing loading up on more protein if you've got kidney issues? You're only 27. Fuck, man, like, you ain't going in the wrong, right direction here. So that's my tip, is get on the vegan high-carb thing, get on the bicycle, just cruise around. Don't flog yourself, but be consistent over the days and weeks and months. you get amazing results long-term for life. This Atkins fucking fentamine bullshit will just fuck you up, man. Like your sister's metabolic damage. You know what I mean? Like you, all these cele- not all of them, but most of these celebrities are just like doing all these crash diets and pills and cocaine, <laughs> doing fucking lines of shit, fucking up their metabolism. In the meantime, their emotional roller coasters to be around. They're nut jobs. They're fucking nut jobs. I don't envy that lifestyle at all, man. I'm retired. So that's my tip. Fuck starving. Fuck using drugs to give yourself energy. Fuck worrying about gaining weight. Lean for life. Clean for life. Feasting for life. Carb the fuck up, Rob. Post your comments and questions down below. See you next video.